Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. I don't know the rest anymore. I wanted to talk about the first time that I really went for like a long, long boarding. <laughs> uh, session trip, whatever. So I had been at my parents' house, which is a couple of towns away from where we live. I'd been hanging out with my parents, but they were actually leaving town to go visit my grandparents. So they left town and I went to a bike trail nearby to go longboard. This was probably a couple weeks after I had bought my longboard and Patrick had not bought his yet and his best friend Colin had not bought his yet so I was the only one with one. So nobody could go with me, nobody was really into it yet other than me. Otherwise, normally now I go with Patrick and Colin, which is why I qualify this. But so I went to a uh, bike trail near my parents' house, but it had recently rained. And if you longboard at all, you know that that makes it a little bit dangerous. So what happened was I was on my longboard, I was like longboarding along, and I was having a grand old time until some leaves that had some water still between them went right as I put my foot on them and my knee got so jacked up like that was a year ago actually probably a year and a half ago and my knee still hurts sometimes from that and I still occasionally have to wear a brace at work and stuff if I've been bending over a lot at work on that particular knee that I hurt. But it got all jacked up and I was still a mile away from my car when this happened. So I had to walk all the way back to my car because I called Patrick and he didn't pick up and my parents were already out of town like an hour and a half away. So I had to walk all the way back to my car with this jacked up knee and that messed me up like emotionally so badly because at first longboarding seemed like this cool fun thing to do but now it's like terrifying for me. Sometimes still I get really nervous because my board is actually shorter than a lot of other boards tend to be um, which makes it harder to control and a little bit like not as fast as other boards but harder to control and a little more like dangerous so when I can I get Patrick to switch me but it makes me nervous because I don't want to get hurt like that again because it hurt me for so long and it still does hurt me to this day like I think that after that incident I was wearing a brace for like three months straight on my knee because it hurt so badly. I've always thought of myself as kind of a brave person but that really made me realize how many fears I still have to conquer and getting back on my longboard after that was a terrifying experience for me. But I think that every day that I do get on my longboard now is about conquering fear and being able to conquer that fear, which seems surface level and kind of trivial, makes it easier for me to conquer other more important fears like taking criticism or asking for an apology when I deserve one. I am not going to lie to you, it took me a really, really long time for me to actually get back on my longboard. It's something I really want to do and I like as you may know if you watch any of my videos I really like to be outside that's like something that I really love to do is just spending time outside and now that Patrick has a long board too it's a really good way for us to connect something that has always interested me so I wasn't going to let an injury like that stop me from continuing doing something get back on the horse is the lesson to be learned here I guess. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. My name is JJ Wickings. I post a new video every single day. Little rants like this, other stuff that interests me. I think I did a fire watch review the other day. 
I would love to see you all back here. I will see you all later. Peace out, friendos. <laughs>